What's up, y'all? B Mason built by B Mason. Look, I was in the middle of a bill and I said, hold up, let me stop and make a video. So today we're going to learn how to make a 355 taper tip hosel fit a 370 shaft. So as you all know, some club heads come in 355 taper, some shaft that we want to use come in 370. Uh, the good thing about 370 is you can dial in that flex like really good, like on the money. Uh, 355 taper, it come already tipped to how it need to be from the factory. So that's what we're doing today, and we're just going to get right into it. Roll the intro. Let's go. All right, y'all, getting straight into it, not wasting any time. Uh, you're gonna have to, you know, be creative here. Uh, as you can see, I made this, I don't know what you're gonna call it, you call it a platform. I made this platform and I got this jig right here to hold the shaft in. I'm using a drill press, just your Harbor Freight Special. Uh, just a regular drill press. Now it's not the super duper cheap one, the one that's five speed, I don't have the, it's not the five speed, this is a 12 speed. So you need some, with some kind of power, some kind of giddy up to it. So uh, that's what we got. What we're doing is we're taking these uh, Mizuno 921, these are some left hand clubs too. Taking some 921s, uh, as you can see that's a 370. As you can see right now, the 370 does not fit. The 370 does not fit. So you have to take this special, bit bam take this special serrated bit you put it in the drill press you're gonna need you some dart thread cutting oil that's what i use OD, ode dart threaded cutting oil uh also it would be beneficial to put you on some gloves you want to know why because if you get this metal in your hand the body does not like it and it will do everything to force it out. But in the meantime, you will suffer day in and day out. The moral of the story, don't get the metal in your hand. Use some gloves. All right, let's get straight into it. We're gonna take this head, I already pulled it off the shaft, I already cleaned it out. I got videos on how to do that. We're gonna take this thing, we're gonna put it directly to the jig. We're gonna tighten that baby down. We're going to tighten it on this side too. We're going to make sure we get just in the middle. We're going to be in the center when we do this. No, no boring and how reaming these out, things out incorrectly. We're going to take a little bit of OD, a little bit of that cut oil. We're going to drip it on the bit down into the hosel. We're going to crank this thing up and we're going to take it nice and slow. Sorry, I know don't remember but a bunch of dudes watch this and I'm all getting y'all to bear white. My bad. All right, nice and slow though. Let's go. <laughs> Boom. All right, there we go. That's done. Now I know a lot of y'all gonna be wondering, B. Basin, how do you know how far is go down well that's what this orange piece of tape is for right here i already made a mark on how far i need to go down once i hit that orange tape i bag it up out now we're gonna take this over to the trash can i got a little air compressor i'm gonna pew, pew, blow that thing out All right, I just blew it out. I'm gonna take our 370 tip again. There you go, 370. We're gonna put it in there. Voila, like magic. Now it takes a 370. And in the grand scheme of things, that's it. We're gonna clean this out with the brush. Once we clean it out, we'll be, uh, we'll be good to go. 
So that's we got like uh, about six more of these to do, and that's how you do it. Uh, I'm, like I told y'all, this year I'm gonna try to do more quick videos that's very insightful, show you all how I do this type of stuff. You might wanna go out and experiment yourself and do it on your own, whatever the case may be. If you like this video and more videos like this, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. That helps me out. That helps me make more cool videos like this. I would like YouTube to one day profitably give me a, a, you know, a check for all my hard work, but as of right now, I'm not getting no money because I'm not even monetized. So it helped me out greatly if you hit the like button and ring the bell and subscribe. Is it a like button? Whatever, thumbs up, give me that. Just show me some love. And if you make some comments, I'll, I'll write back. It might take me a little while, but I get back to everybody. All right, man, that's all I got for y'all. Uh, if you're in the Birmingham area, you need some club work, anywhere in Alabama. If you're anywhere in Alabama and you need some club, no, nah, forget that. If you're in Alabama, Tennessee, Mississippi, or Florida, or Georgia, come holler at me. I'll get you straight over here at 3BM Golf Studio uh, in the great state, the magic city, Birmingham, Alabama. All right, or just mail me the stuff. You can mail it too, I don't care. All right, man, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Built by B. Mason. 3B on Golf Studio. Peace. Look, talking like they know me, they don't know the half. I'm like Owen Hart, mixed inside of Noah's Ark. I had battles in the dark, why you so alarmed? See the battles and the scars, had to go to class. Tamagotchi in my pocket, why you holding off? Uh, Cause the oldest got the rocket that can mow a lawn. Uh, but I'm chilling in the field, didn't go to farm. Uh, daddy told me keep it real, let's show no regard. Uh,